every day I wake up is another blessing Thankful every second getting God's protection I lost connection in the desert, I had no reception But in that time alone I probably learned a thousand lessons I used my time for introspection and some self-reflection And analyzed a couple ways to conquer my depression Everything doesn't happen the way we plan it to But if we harvest energy then we can plan it too So take a look in my eyes, that's where the story Diablo news, campfire from a week ago that I missed, that I wasn't going to watch, that I was going to wait for this video to find out what happened anyway. DM Diablo! Tell me what's going on. We just finished watching the Dev Campfire live stream, and I will now break down everything you need to know quickly. First is that they are changing <clears throat> items to have better affixes, as Oops. well as some actual better performance from what the aspects do. This is one such example they use. You can see here that they changed crowd control to critical strike damage on the Hellhammer, for example. Oh, okay. There will be more unique changes. For instance, the Sorcerer's Bouncing Fireball Gloves. I don't but think I even got a lot of these coming, and they're not all listed on my patch on Wednesday. Or I should say the patch yet. notes are on Wednesday. <clears throat> I should say, yeah, I beat the game, but I ain't really beat the game. You know, if you know what I mean. I never got to 100 yet. I don't have no clue what I'm in store for when I start the season one. And it's going to be my first Diablo season. That's why I keep watching these videos. Trying to prepare myself. All right. Next, there are significant changes coming through to the actual abilities of... John changes most of the classes in fact all of them i believe are getting changes so we're going to show you each of these slides this would be the first one feel free to pause the video if you need longer time we're going to go through all of the slides to save you time this is the second slide keep in mind again these patch notes will be coming out i believe on wednesday to fully break this down further changes to the paragon trees the for patch coming as out, well though. for damage reduction as well as fireball meteor increasing critical strike chance here is the rest of these Changes to legendary aspects as well. You're going to know this throughout the sorcerer changes. They are primarily focusing on fire as well as lightning builds that are going to be receiving the major buffs. Also changes to the key passives to make the damage reduction be increased as well as some of the key passives will now work on bosses. And this would be the unique glove change. They remove the stun affix to now actually have lucky hit change to restore resources as well and you can see the damage penalty reductions are reduced so for sorcerer the major changes are basically they're buffing fire as well as lightning builds fairly significantly and also hydra's got a decent buff now we're on to barbarian barbarian will be receiving both damage buffs vulnerability duration buffs some of these for notes as we get into them are actually very good you're going to know this fury gains are being increased between 10 and 30 percent depending upon which ones we're talking about Violent Upheaval now gives Berserking. Look at this. Gain Berserking for two seconds, increase to three seconds if it damages at least four enemies. And then you can see some passive increase as well. Check this out. Bleed damage from Overpower increased from 11% to 70%. Barbarian is also getting aspect changes. You can see damage reduction while Dang, in they earthquakes. They have to change earth. 515 to 1525. It looks like damage all of their aspects. <laughs> increase as well, so earthquakes gain a little bit of a buff there. They actually talk a little bit about earthquake as well as some other flat damage bonuses, which we'll talk about a little bit later in this video. Real surprising fact is that not just Barbarian and Sorcerer are getting buffs. More or less, all of the classes are getting something nice added. This would be Rogue. Rogue's okay. uh, Supreme Reign of Arrows is getting changed uh, to the first wave now. Knocks down enemies, as well as you can see the other buffs here. Like, for instance, the Siphoning Strike uh, Threshold will be on this next page. But take a look at these. You can see these are a pretty decent increase. Okay, and there's the siphoning strike. Lucky hit chance goes from 75 to 85 percent. You can see damage reduction, etc. So check out what you think of these ones. Again, patch notes for all of this will be Wednesday. Now, Druid is Here getting changes, much like the Barbarian, where we are getting spirit gain yes. from early. Thank so you're going to be getting more spirit gain, basically from the beginnings when it's actually a problem. But they're also focusing on making companions better. So you're going to be getting damage increase bonuses across the board for most of these. Oh. And as we go into the second slide here, you're going to be oh, noticing. Oh, I see that because this is my, this is my, my guy. 
But I'm not going to be playing him for the season, so I don't know. Earth Spike goes from 11 to 13. Wolves, I don't use. I don't use. This is across the board for most of these. And as we go into the second slide here, you're going to be noticing Ravens are getting buffed pretty decently as it. well. Rabies here. This is a big one. Rabies is going from 76% to 110% damage over time. And they actually talk about overpowered damage over time and some of the less fulfilling, less satisfying type of mechanics they're going to be looking at changing. It's a soon.tm type of conversation, but it is actually addressed. Necromancer is both getting some minor changes like bone spirit cooldown is reduction goes from six cool to seven. But they're also getting some fairly large ones like aspect of the exposed flesh is going from bones, like basically only bone skills to now it's a lucky hit 10% chance to generate the essence when hitting a vulnerable enemy, which basically this means this can now work for any type of build. This isn't now just locked into bone, which is a pretty significant increase in my own personal opinion. Also, Sever is going from Critical Strike so that it's just a flat percentage chance to have this actually happen. So you no longer need to worry about building crit, especially when you're trying to get Blight, which is a damage over time thing, which can't crit anyway. So the reverse synergy is now solved. Also changing some legendary aspects here. You can see uh, Aspect of the Decay gets a buff, but this is important. Aspect of Torment, the Essence Regeneration goes from 20 to 30 to 90 to 170%. That's over a five times increase on the upper end, just about shy of a six times increase on the upper end of it. If you look at the Graves of the Empty Tomb, Intelligence Affix got replaced with Bonus Movement Speed, which is desperately needed for Necromancer. Minions will receive reduced damage, uh, including Druid Companions will re receive reduced damage from the Ball Rack Fire build. Breath, as well as Fire Enchanted like, Electrify the Blizzard like Shock Mines. Basically the things gimmick? that are just doing too much damage like, to minions you... are getting nerfed against minions. Caged Heart of Spell Breaking build. is now elemental damage. You uh, gain 10 to 20% damage reduction for five seconds after taking elemental no damage. So this is a little are, bit better. And then Temerity the actually had a fairly large change, which is the all stats are fixed. It's replaced with max life, but the barrier is now based upon maximum life instead of current life. So this is actually like a pretty big change. And they say now properly accounted by conditions checking for the player having a barrier. So this might make Temerity actually more viable if you build max HP. One of the next thing they talk about is mob density getting buffed in dungeons. Uh, if you take a look at this, this getting was buffed. the previous example of what it looked like prior. I actually went and took some time to count all of these. I'm sure my numbers really? aren't exactly perfect, but Why I counted approximately that? 123 minions on the screen here. I'm sure somebody would spend time counting them to get them correctly. Ooh. And then it moved to about 190 minions. This is the post buff density for nightmare dungeons Bro, this is approximately a 50 percent buff dungeon, in terms forever. of mob density now there's some changes we don't have slides for for instance bosses are being buffed so bosses are now going to have more hp because as we've seen many times bosses die in one or two shots but now you are 100 percent guaranteed the bosses at the end of the dungeons etc starting from the beginning it's 100 percent drop for a legendary now for bosses oh. so that's kind of exciting Speaking of 100% drop for legendaries, uh, completing Legion events will 100% guarantee you a legendary drop, as well as Treasure Goblins starting at level 15 plus will now 100% of the time guaranteed to drop a legendary as well. They are also reverting the five second mm. dungeon change. They said it was poorly received. People didn't like it. So they're just gonna take the L and bring it back to three seconds. So that's a W on the feedback. In terms of feedback, they've also addressed the fact that there was a memory leak that was introduced, which is now getting patched out, as well as the horse is something that they are very aware of has problems. It's a soon.tm type of answer, but they are looking into addressing the horse. Spe uh, speaking of these sort of like soon in the near future type of answers, they also address the fact that overpower damage over time basically builds that are not meta or uh, stat lines that are not meta are obviously not in line with where they want them to be and they are majorly focused on making things like overpower etc better going into the future of the game again we don't have a time for that it's not coming in 1.1.1 but it is on the docket when 1.1.1 is coming looks like i believe they mentioned august 8th is the timeline for this patch for the changes we've already previously That's tomorrow. Mentioned and showed the slides for 
One other thing to mention is that the camera system is something that they've had a large amount of feedback in. People said they want a zoomed out camera. They said they're going to have to bring some engineers onto the channel uh, for the next campfire chat in order to actually explain what's going on with that. But I guess there could be some resolution, resolution issues or some kind of like development issues related to actually zooming out the camera all of the time in all of the different dungeons, instances, etc. So because of that reason, it's something where maybe, probably not seem like the answer. Other than that, they retouched on some stuff they've already mentioned in the previous campfire chat. For instance, the fact that, yes, respec costs are going down by 40%. They will be 40% cheaper, the respec. Stash tab one uh, bonus will be coming. It will cost 400,000 gold. They will not be selling stash tabs in the future, and elixirs will be stacking to 99. This should all be coming in the next patch. That's about it. I hope you appreciate the brief breakdown. Consider subscribing to the channel if you want to or if I've earned it. If not, don't worry about it. Have a great day. I'll see you on the live streams, which you can find in the description in the pinned comment. Bruh. Damn buffs, baby. Everything got buffed. Not just us. I'm hiding out, wilding out, cooling down, collecting thoughts till I find my route. And if they catch me, they'll be finding out what I'm about. Until then, I'm riding out. I'm hiding out, wilding out, cooling down, collecting thoughts till I find my route. And if they catch me, they'll be finding out what I'm about. Until then, I'm riding out. Riding out. Check it out. I'm a desperado. I'm living it in real life. What's next to follow? I hit the bottle.